Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Finally got some uh, decent progress here on the C10 bed, so I wanted to post a new video on it. Uh, if you guys see the hidden filler in here, don't worry, that's going to be on a future video. This video is mainly just getting into uh, current progress of the bed and getting the body work to where you see it right now. It's getting a lot closer. Um, haven't done a lot lately, not as much as I want to. I've been just basically growing out my beard and that's about it. But finally, got something to show. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got here. And again, a future video on that coming soon. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's what the bed looks like finally. Uh, ready for a first coat of epoxy primer and high build primer after that. Um, all the major metal work has been done and all of the uh, pretty much initial heavy body work is finished. Give you guys a walk around of all the problem areas that I had to hit. This bedside over here was definitely the worst. Um, had quite a few issues along here with the straightness. Specifically, I could see a ripple right in here where when this was stamped, there was a low spot all the way around that ridge. Hopefully that took care of it. This side really makes me nervous. I'll know a lot better once I get into primer um, if it's good or bad. And as you guys can also see, there was uh, quite a few areas of uh, some issues around the bed corners here, around where the lights go. Stake pockets themselves, um, I mean, nothing to report there. That was damage in shipping. Um, stake pockets turned out really good. Probably the best part about the whole bed. One thing I did notice on these stampings though, from uh, about this point to here on all four corners was not super flat. There's, especially in the back here, there's quite a bit of waviness where the stamping was. Uh, from this point to this point is pretty good though on both sides. Overall, uh, am I happy with it? Well, I guess we'll find out once I get it in primer and see how it really looks. As near as I can tell, it looks like it's pretty flat. This side, however, may still have a few little issues. It's really hard to tell in this light. But anyway, I am sick of sanding body filler on this bed, so it's off to something that I feel is a little more productive. I'm gonna get some primer on this thing. Let it bake for a week or two, and then start sanding on that. And I know what some of you are gonna say, don't have the fuel filler access done yet. And yeah, I'm kind of doing that out of order, but I just want to get this bed in primer before it gets too cold. And most of the, well, if not all of the surfaces that I'll be welding to do not touch or are close to a surface of the sheet metal that's going to have primer on it. So I'm not really too worried about that, to be honest with you. So get this in primer and then we'll get that done. So after the first coat of epoxy, it actually looks pretty good. It's kind of hard to tell with the bodywork in there, but it's pretty flat. This side looks pretty good too. I'm amazed. So this side turned out pretty good. What you see right there is I added an extra coat of primer from here back. Um, just because all the body work was right here, one extra coat there, and it looks pretty decent. There is a low spot right there. Other than that, probably be able to sand this off, do a second coat, sand it off, and this side will be ready for paint. Rotate this side around into the light. This side ended up pretty good too. There is a low spot right there. And what you see in this general area, it's just the light on the way the primer is sprayed. There isn't any higher low spots right there. It's just showing up on camera a lot more. And there might be one low spot, I think, right in this area. But other than that, 
considering the amount of body work, turned out pretty good. So probably can sand this down, maybe put just a little bit in those spots and second coat of primer and sand it down. And then this side should be ready for paint as well. So getting there, top rails look nice too. I think they'll uh, they'll sand out just fine. And here it is in guide coat. Ready to start sanding, which is my least favorite thing to do. But at least it's further along today than it was yesterday and hopefully it'll be in paint sooner than later. Okay, so I just hit this roughly with some 220 with my block and I'm gonna go ahead and go for it one more time and then go down to 320 and then add some uh, lightweight body filler to some of the low spots. There's not many on this side. There might be one that ends up right there, but that will probably come out with another coat of primer. This is a high spot right here and here. Low spots, possibly right here. And most likely right there. The rest of this side looks pretty good. I guess I should hit the tops too, show you guys. The tops are looking really good. Most likely these will need nothing else besides a second coat of primer and block that down. Same with this side, except for right here. This little spot will need just a little tiny bit. Other than that, this top rail is good. This side I knew was gonna be a little bit worse, but there's nothing surprising here either. There's a low spot right there which is actually the opposite I was worried about. I was worried about a high spot being right in this area, but there's not. There's actually still a little bit low right there, but there's that spot. And as you can see along right there, a couple of little spots right there. Other than that, this side looks good, possibly right here too. Know a little bit better once I hit that a little bit more and go down to 320, but those are all the areas that I'll need to add some uh, lightweight filler. This one is no good, it's all hardened up, but this is the stuff I'll be using to do the lightweight filler to finish out this 31180. Actually, overall, it did turn out a lot better than I thought for the initial prime. Could have been a lot worse. Just gonna hit these low spots with that lightweight filler and then go ahead and send it down, block it down to a 320, uh, go over the whole thing, and then hit this with two to three more coats of K38 primer. And then again, block it down, sand it down. I'll do the final sanding in a wet sand with uh, 400 though. And then it should be good enough for uh, some paint. Now, I didn't think this back pan was gonna need as much attention, so I kind of rushed through it. Probably shouldn't have. I think I can work it out. I don't think it'll be too bad with lightweight filler. I don't think it'll be uh, needing a whole lot, but there are gonna be quite a few low spots on that roll pan there, so. That might take more work than I wanted to do on it, but the rest of it looks pretty good. I still haven't sanded out these back corners uh, yet. I mainly wanted to see how bad the bed size are gonna be. So I don't expect too much going on here. Um, maybe just a little bit in the areas I had to mess with, but should be good. Still have to get this buttoned up right here. Dealt with that, but. Hopefully this will start being uh, kind of the, the downhill slide to where I can get this done sooner rather than later. A eh, couple little bugs been there. What else is new? My biggest question that I'm having for myself though is these inner bed rails. If I should use filler and clean up all the spot welds or just leave it how it is. That might be going a little bit too far, even for me, but I don't know. I feel like 
that is kind of a focal point when you're looking inside the bed in a way. So uh, I haven't decided on that if I'm gonna hit those and body work this inner lip out on both sides or not. I guess one thing that surprised me before I primed this is on all four corners here, there are high spots. And I did not notice that before, but they're there. There's gonna be one right there as well. Not a big deal. I'm just surprised I didn't pick that up. Honestly though, probably the biggest thing that upset me was this side that I didn't notice and until I got it sanded. There's a lot of pinholes in the bodywork that I didn't notice. And so I'm gonna have to hit all those areas lightly with some uh, lightweight filler as well. Cause that stuff's uh, definitely gonna show through if I don't take care of that. But there, that's the rundown. That's where I'm at onwards and upwards. So there's the current progress on the C10 bed. Um, I feel like finally making some decent progress on this thing. Um, again, video coming up on the hidden filler there. I still need to order the LED lights and figure out how I'm gonna hinge those uh, before I fully post the video. Cause I kinda wanna do just one solid video on everything I did to get this done and get it engineered. Uh, I feel like the bed though is finally on the downhill slope, getting everything uh, ready for paint. Uh, still, again, a few little odds and ends as far as the body work goes, but I feel like the hardest part of the majority of the work's done. Now it's just a lot of sanding, and well, we all hate that, but it's got to be done. And then, finally, hoping to get this thing into paint and then get it back on the truck and get it out of my way. So, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, as always, more videos to come, and until then, We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Maybe it sucked, maybe it didn't.